briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1993, the United States Court of Appeals for the Seventh Circuit heard the case of Harriston v. Chicago Tribune Company. The case centered around Octavia Harriston, a black woman who worked for the Chicago Tribune Company from 1965 to 1989. Harriston alleged that she was discriminated against due to her race and received negative job evaluations, leading her to file a lawsuit against the Tribune Company and three individuals. The district court initially dismissed her lawsuit, at which point Harriston decided to appeal. The appellate court ultimately upheld this dismissal, along with denying Harriston's motion for class certification. They found that her exclusion from the incentive fund was based on her position, not her race, and that her demotion was not wrongful as she was offered a higher level job. Furthermore, the court concluded that she had not provided sufficient evidence for her claims of race discrimination and emotional distress. The decision in Harriston v. Chicago Tribune Company reaffirms that in order to prove discrimination, the plaintiff must show that the negative actions they faced were based on discriminatory reasons, such as race or age. In this case, the evidence presented did not sufficiently prove any discriminatory actions had taken place, leading to the dismissal of Harriston's claims. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.